Patriotism means loving your country. The men who rushed into the Twin Towers as they were crumbling down, those are patriots. The police officers who risk their lives every day, those are patriots. And the countless veterans who sacrificed their lives or watched their friends die, those are patriots. I'm so, so proud of our flag. And I'm so... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so proud of all the kids that died with me. Uh, it's just proud of my country and and and. But again, the greatest pride is in in, in thanking the young kids who fought, those that survived as well as those that died. Uh, it's just. Uh, a, tra a tragedy. Clay Travis is the founder of OutClick. Uh, Clay, great to see you here tonight. You know, for me, looking at that World War II veteran talking about what the flag means to him, I think proves that the left's motive is to tear down the flag by associating it with groups uh, in a way so that then the country can be taken down as well because they don't have a symbol anymore to unite everybody. Yeah, Katie, a few years ago, I had the good fortune to travel to Normandy and stand on the beaches and the cliffs looking out over the ocean there and think about what that gentleman and all of his patriot friends did on that day um, and beyond as a part of liberating the world from true evil. And I, I think this is probably the great lie that has been allowed to spread in this country and it is the idea that America is a, is a racist and awful country. If that were true, people all over the world wouldn't be risking their lives to try to get here uh, of all different nationalities, of all different backgrounds. America is imperfect. It will always be imperfect as a nation run and founded by and led by humans. But it is the greatest country to ever exist in the history of the world. And attacking our language is a big part of trying to destroy our history. I'll give you another example, Katie. I went to George Washington University. They just changed the mascot of George Washington University from colonials because they didn't like the connection of colonies. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just such a bastardization of American history because our colonial army stood up against the British and right. defended freedom and brought forth the greatest country in the history of the world. But people are too dumb and naive and easily led astray to even understand basic history. And I've always said, and I 100% believe it's true as we sit here the day after the July 4th holiday, if you sent every young American overseas for a year and mm -hmm. didn't let them come back and made them live in a third world country, they would kiss the ground when they walked off the airport to return here. I think it's a profound ignorance that anybody thinks that they aren't incredibly blessed to live here. And yep. uh, I'm hopeful that as we move into the next political cycle, uh, we're going to get back to arguing about who loves America more instead of whether yep. or not this is a great country or not, because it's easy to answer that question. Well, you don't have to send them to a third world country. You can just send them to Europe for even a week and they'll want to be coming home because they won't have the basic things that they really enjoy here in America. And as a daughter of the American Revolution, I really appreciate Independence Day and what it means for this country and what it's meant for people, patriots, who have sacrificed everything to get us to where we are at this point with our freedom today. So, Clay, thanks for joining me. See you soon. No doubt. Amen. And thanks to everybody who's given us those freedoms. I hope everybody Indeed. had a fabulous fourth. Including George Washington. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Amen. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.